The nervous system is the most complicated system in the body, so it's no wonder spinal surgeries can be some of the most complicated surgeries to perform. But now doctors at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury have a new high-tech tool that makes operating on the back easier and safer. Take a look. At the recent weddings of both her son and daughter, Julie Chassie danced the night away. I actually bent my knees and just kind of wiggled. But that almost wasn't possible. And I've had back pain for years. As the years passed, um, it started radiating down my, my left leg and then to my right leg in the sciatica. The pain eventually made things Julie loved doing impossible. You know, I stopped ice skating, I stopped skiing, we stopped going out on the sailboat, uh, we stopped traveling. Julie's husband Jim recently passed away, but before he did, he encouraged her to take action. It was actually my husband who came to me and said, I miss my wife. It just devastated me to hear him say that. That's when Julie decided to undergo surgery. This disc here is much um, smaller. There's less hydration in it. It's a sick disc. Dr. David Forshaw, a neurosurgeon at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury, says Julie had spine to low lithesis. A disc in her spine had slipped out of place and needed to be repaired. And traditionally what we would have to do is make a big cut in her back, move all the muscles out of the way, take off a lot of bone and put in screws and rods in a cage. And you're kind of beat up for a couple months after that. But thankfully for Julie, St. Mary's Hospital has a new tool that allows surgeons to do the same surgery with much smaller incisions and a faster recovery. So the O-arm is a piece of technology that allows us to acquire real-time 3D images of the patient's spine, make an interoperative map so we can plan our surgeries ahead of time, get the hardware in safer, know where the critical structures are, the nerves, the spinal cord, etc. While on the operating table, an x-ray plate inside the O-arm circles around the patient's body taking images of it. Probes like this can be placed on or inside a patient to focus in on specific areas. The images are then transmitted back to a computer. So this is Ms. Uh, Chase's preoperative uh, spin. So this is the first thing we do when we get into the room. After mapping out Julie's spine with the O-arm, Dr. Forshaw removed her problematic disc and placed a spacer and screws to stabilize her back. Precision is one of the goals of the surgery. It lets us know exactly where our instruments are in relationship to the patient's anatomy. So we can place our hardware, our screws, our rods, our cages, which we use to stabilize the spine much more safely. For Julie, the surgery was all but a miracle. Come on, want to play fetch? Okay, let's go. I was up and about from day one. And she was able to go home the next day. I never thought it would be this good of an outcome. Hey buddy. And Dr. Forshaw had told me that he could decrease my pain, but he didn't promise to get rid of it. Well, he got rid of it. Today, Julie's back on her feet. Go along and ready for the road ahead. Dr. Forshaw gave me back my future. He gave me back um, things to look forward to and things that I can do. A woman who won't let anything slow her down. All right, for more information about the O-Arm at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury, just call 203-709-6000 or visit stmh.org.